Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's 10 to 14 day video update. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for this video. So day 10 will take us to the 10th of October and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Exeter GFS and ECM Ensembles. They are running to around a couple of weeks. Of course, we'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and also the final salvo for October and I shall get time back for you in a moment. Just to say at the moment we're just doing uh, one video per day. I'm hoping we get a 6M forecast back a little bit later on in the week though. So uh, watch your space on that one. Thank you so much sure of your lovely, lovely messages yesterday with yesterday said to 14 day. Uh, so uh, I haven't been very well over the weekend. Took weekend off and uh, sort of dropped off the scene. And uh, I came back yesterday and you was all very, very kind, as you always are. And uh, I'm doing okay, you know, and I'm going to go through all of those messages that posted on yesterday's video. And uh, at least give them a like and a heart, uh, and we'll respond to some of them as well. So thank you so much, everyone, for all of the concern, support, and love, as always. Right, we're going to start off in the uh, tropical Atlantic. So we've got to two areas of interest, Hurricane Melda. And Hurricane Humberto. So, dealing with Melbourne, first of all, this is a Category 1 hurricane, giving maximum sustained winds of 80 miles per hour. And Humberto is also now weakened to a Category 1 hurricane, giving maximum sustained of 80 miles per hour. So, both of those hurricanes have, have uh, gone down or, and have reached Category 1 status. Ladies and gentlemen, from Earth, Nordschool.net shows that low pressure is in the North Atlantic and eventually this low pressure is going to break through and give us quite an unsettled weekend. Central temperature is sitting at 14.2, that's just 0.6 of a degree, above 61 to 90 on the average, is provisional to yesterday to the 29th of uh, September. So I think that's going to tip down probably to about 14.1 in the end. Not going to be too far from long-term averages. Meets with GFS, upper air temperature up to updated ensemble. We're at London again today. The red line is a 30-year upper air temperature average for London. So it's off a round average at the moment. We're going to find the upper air temperature just uh, ticking up a little bit as we come towards the end of the week and into the weekend. That's as we get the remains of Hurricane Humberto pushing through. Then there's a drop in the upper air temperature before it lifts up again. That's as the remains of Hurricane Amelda <laughs> push through. And then we go a uh, closer average through the uh, second week and into the middle part of October. A lot of dry weather over the next two or three days, but a large temptation spike coming up Friday into Saturday. Uh, again, remains of Humberto as an area of low pressure bringing uh, some really wet weather and then a drop in temperature. And then after that, we're just seeing uh, regular precipitation spikes, really. Temperature anomalies for the uh, next five days to, uh, to the 5th of October. A little bit above average for north, near normal further south. 10 to 14 day, uh, looking like that close to normal. And the precipitation anomaly for the next seven days to the 7th of October. Wetter than average for central northern regions, near norm normal precipitation down in the south. Right, let's start going from chart day to end. Miss Avalanche UK, mate, you're a run. It's looking for uh, midnight on Friday. So one area of low pressure already sits in the north of Scotland and there's the remains, I think, of Humberto. Well, we move on into midnight Saturday and that... Uh, has developed into a major area of low pressure northwest of Scotland, bring heavy rain, wet, windy weather swimming across the country on Friday night, followed by lots of heavy showers. And then we're going to those showery westerly winds as we head up towards the beginning of next week, before high pressure gradually starts to build from the south. So by next Tuesday, signs of high pressure getting going into the south there. <coughs> So, sorry everyone, icon again with uh, northwest winds bringing showering conditions over the weekend. And then on into next week, high pressure builds up from the south, bringing a lot of dry weather to the south. Warm days, cool misty nights probably with that. Uh, I guess that Tuesday, 7th of October, we're high and dry then away from the west of Scotland. So, change the high pressure next week. Then we've got the uh, K Bay looking like that. So, again, turning quite stormy at the end of week into the weekend. Those cool, showery, uh, northwesterly winds. And then high pressure taking over, though, as you move into the second week of October. 
know the trend is increasingly to high pressure there uh, once again, turning drier into a second week of the month. Well, the GFS uh, midnight run looks like this. So, again, it's much of a match this for the weekend. West and windy, Friday into Saturday, quite stormy up in the north. Uh, then going to be showery northwest winds. Well, high pressure starts building up from the south early next week, bringing a lot of dry weather through the early to middle part of next week as well. And that high pressure is really dominating the weather uh, as we head up towards um, day 10, which is the 10th of October, of course. And still that high pressure is maintained over and to the east of the country into the very extended range as well. Gradually, the high pressure starts to break, break down as we get towards the middle and second half of the month as the lower pressure begins to break through there. GFS 6 said again, looking uh, really storming Friday into Saturday with the remains of Humberto. That air of low pressure with some heavy rain coming in with that as well. Then we're cool and showery early next week for high pressure gradually starts to build up from the south. Bring a lot of dry weather into the south, but north looks a little bit more showery. Beyond that, high pressure really taking over as you head up towards the middle part of the month. High pressure in the ascendancy before it starts to break down again by the 16th of October, beginning to turn more unsettled then. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And uh, don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Movies and get me to subscribe to Thank you so much everyone for doing that. About 50 to 45 subscribers gets us to 20.6k. So good get stuff out. Absolutely awesome. And don't forget the Gals Movies 2026 calendar is on sale now. So if you'd like to snap up a calendar, all you need to do is send £13 to our PayPal account. You'll find a link to that in the description with the video. So that's £10 a calendar, £3 postage and packaging. We'll get the calendar out to you. Uh, and thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We've sold about half of the unit so far. Still got plenty to go, though. So if you'd like to snap up a calendar, then uh, please do so. You'll be helping to pay for the channel and support what we're doing here at Gab's Weather Feed. So thank you so much everyone for doing that. GM again with uh, low pressure in control and in the ascendancy from Friday to Saturday. Stormy for the north, wet, windy elsewhere. Then we're cool and showering into the second half of the weekend for higher pressure ridges up from the south as we go into the early part of the next week, bringing a lot of dry weather with it around day 9, 10. Hold on. <coughs> So sorry, everyone. We got a video about a cough. Um, round day nine ten, higher pressure uh, is in control, bringing quite a bit of dry weather then. And then the ECM rounds it all off. So again, looking really unsettled from Friday into Saturday. Deep low pressure with the remains of Humberto. So by the way, I think that is the remains of Humberto. This one, I think, is the remains of uh, Imelda. Uh, anyway, we find that uh, low pressure moving out into the North Sea through Sunday. Cool, windy, showery. Uh, and then high pressure builds up from the south through the middle part of next week, bringing quite a lot of dry weather with it. And that high pressure takes over as we get towards day 10. Beyond day 10, but it starts to turn a little bit more uh, showery again with wind swinging around into the west. This is the precipitation forecast based on the East End run. We've got plenty of wet weather in central and northern regions, mostly dry though down in the south. And further showery bursts pushing through as you get through into the second half week. And then of course got this wet and windy weather sweeping in from the Atlantic Friday and into Saturday as well. Uh, beyond that, we'll shower in the north, mainly dry though down in the south as that high pressure takes over. Meteor the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 10th of October. 29 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure north northeast, high pressure to south southwest, looking rather uh, showery there with westerly winds continuing. And 22 of high pressure ridging in from the west into the north of Europe, bringing quite a lot of dry weather with it. And then in two time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 15th of October. 21 members of the East Shep on Solves High Pressure West, Low Pressure to the East. And that brings down this northwesterly flow. We've got 13 with high pressure more or less over country. We've got 9 with high pressure ridging in from the southwest to the northeast. And then we've got 8 with high pressure to the north and to the northeast. And winds in from easterly direction. Most of those options seem to involve high pressure at two weeks out. 
CFSB2 finally, so it's a 500 middle bar, height and always broken down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 30th of September, 6th of October. Next week sees uh, lower pressure taking over, becoming more unsettled and quite stormy up the weekend. Week 2 is going to be the 7th to 13th of October. Low pressure in control. Other models have high pressure taking over for about second week of October, though. Week 3 will be the... 14th to 20th of October, high pressure ridging up from the southwest, and then finally, week four is going to be the 21st to 27th of October, with low pressure around Scandinavia, high pressure down from Spain, winds coming in from a westerly direction. Then, and CFS overall for October looks unsettled. Remember, these uh, charts do change daily. We're ending on this idea 700 millibar heights with low pressure to the north, bringing you know, uh, unsettled conditions off the Atlantic. Temperature at Norman just a little bit above average and not a big deviation, and uh, rather wetter than average month, particularly so for the north. We will see about that time as ever will tell. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to press about guys with this and get them to subscribe too. And we thank you so much everyone for doing that for us tomorrow. There'll be a 6 in broadcast, so keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.